Hello everyone, this is Shweb Yaqub. Today we will discuss basis risk. It's a very important concept in derivatives. Basis is the difference between future and spot price. So basis is the difference between future and spot price. Today, if you buy future of oil contract, for example, at $100, but the spot price is, is of $95. So, future is of $100, spot is of $95. The difference between these two is called the basis. So, what is basis risk? Basis risk arises when the price of a future contract does not have a predictable relation with the spot price of the instrument being hedged. So today, if you are booking or buying a future contract, so for example, there's a spot price, there's a future price. For example, you are buying a future at, let's assume $200, but the spot is, for example, at $210. So the difference between these two is called the basis. It's an assumption that over the period of time, on, on, on the x-axis, there's a time, on the y-axis, there's a price. And the assumption is, as time passes, this difference will slowly and gradually will converge towards zero. So for example, today is 1st Jan, this is 30th June. So on the time span of six months, this difference will eventually reduce towards zero. This is called the basis. Basis risk is this relation will not reduce to zero at the end of this maturity. For example, at maturity, maybe future price will fall here and spot price will fall here. Still, there is a difference between these two is remaining. Basis is a difference between future and spot today. Future and spot today. This is basis. What is the assumption? Over the period of time, this difference will reduce. This difference will, this difference will eliminate over the period of time and at maturity, it will become equal to zero spot and future prices will become equal but basis risk is this will not going to happen if you do not have a predictable relation the spot and the future do not have a predictable relation that means there is a basis risk in that case at maturity spot price will be maybe here future price will be maybe here the difference is still remaining that is called the basis risk so let's understand another concept then we will come again at the basis risk. The perfect hedge. What is perfect hedge? For example, if you are buying a future to hedge some underlying what is the perfect hedge? The asset whose price is to be hedged is the same as the underlying asset of the future. If you want to hedge the gold, you should buy future of gold contract. If you want to hedge bond, you should buy future of the bond. But if you are hedging the bond by buying a table future, that means hedge will not be perfect. That means there will be a basis risk. If you are hedging, for example, Apple stock by buying S&P index future. So that means there will not be a perfect hedge. The asset whose prices is to be hedged should be the same as the underlying asset of the future content. That is the number one requirement. Number two. There is no uncertainty about the exact date of asset buying and selling. For example, you want to hedge your export proceeds. 
you should know the exact date of the export proceeds in order to create a perfect hedge. Third, the hedge does not require the future contract to be closed out before its maturity. So for example, if you your exports are, you're receiving your exports on 15th of August, but you are buying a future contract of 30th September. So that means you have to close your future contract before the maturity. And if you're closing the future contract before the maturity, your hedge will not be perfect. And you may be facing the basis risk. And the another point, another point, if you want to hedge the $200,000 contract, you want to hedge the $200,000 exports and one contract size is $125,000 so, and you are buying two contracts of $250,000. So underlying has amount of $200,000, future contract has amount of $250,000. So that will not be a perfect hedge. In AFM, normally, whenever we are rounding off the contracts, whenever we are rounding off the contracts, hedge will not be perfect, basis risk will be there. So in order to have a perfect hedge, these should be the features. Now let's again discuss the basis risk. Basis risk is the potential risk that arises from mismatches in the hedge position. Basis is occurs when a hedge is imperfect. See, we will we have discussed this. So the losses in investments are not exactly offset by the hedge. So there's a very famous example in, in financial management that is you are hedging a three month LIBOR position using six month LIBOR future. You are hedging a three month LIBOR position using a six month LIBOR future. So you are not matching the underlying, there will be a basis risk. So in, in the attempt to hedge against two years bond, with the purchase of T-bills, T-bills are not similar to the bonds, these are different. So you are exposed to a basis risk. So basis risk have different types. The risk arises when the future contract expiry is different from the selling date of the cash market rate. You, your underlying is expiring on August, but your future has an expiry date of September. So that will be a, that is, that is a very common hedge in ACCA. Uh, there's a basis risk problem in ACCA. You, you will find many examples on this. Location, typically this risk arises in the commodity market where the actual delivery location of the spot market and that of the future market differs. Actual delivery is somewhere in some other country and the future delivery is some other country. Product quality, when the qualities of properties of financial assets are not the same as the asset represented by the derivative contract. So this is the example. Let, let me tell you the example. We want to hedge <coughs> ABC stock, not naming the stock is a real example. We want to hedge this stock. We were long on this. And we have a fear, we had a fear that stock price may go down. So we asked the Goldman Sachs that we want to hedge the position of the stock. So they represent, they, they, they said, the representative said, this ABC stock is not liquid and this is not available in the market. Direct hedge is not available. What we can do, we can provide hedge on underlying of, we will provide a hedge on underlying of different stocks. Okay, those different stocks have a correlation of 0.6 with this ABC stock. So we want to hedge this ABC stock. We contacted Goldman Sachs. They were providing hedge on the underlying of different other stocks which has a correlation of 0.6 with this stock. So what do you think in future what will happen? If this stock is going up, these under, underlying stock will also go up, but there is a correlation of 0.6 and that is not guaranteed. So this was the, this was the basis risk. 
Price the risk materialize when the price movement of the financial asset and the future contract are not in sync at the start at the end of the date. For example, future today is at 95, stock price is for example 100 and in future, this is a gap of 5, in future both are not moving towards each other. Maybe future price moved more than the movement of the stock price. So that also result the basis risk.